Hello, my name is Liam Flood, and today I will be talking to Ian Tam about investment portfolios. Hi, Ian. Hi, Liam. Ian, what is an investment portfo portfolio? Uh, that's a great question, Liam. And the, the boring answer to that is basically it's a um, an investment in a mix of different types of uh, asset classes or basically a mix between stocks, bonds, and, and cash. Uh, but maybe a more relatable way to think about an investment portfolio is to think about a color palette. And Liam, I know that you're an artist. So if you think about a color palette, there's going to be some pretty aggressive colors like reds and blacks that are, you know, pretty, pretty boring in nature. And you can think of those kind of as stocks. They're pretty fast moving. They're, um, they're, they're aggressive. Uh, there's also some cooler colors like blues and greens uh, that I would probably relate to bonds. They're a little slower moving and they're a bit more conservative in nature. So an investment portfolio is kind of like a color palette. And what you're trying to do is build the right mix of colors that is appropriate for you uh, as an investor. Then how do you choose what should be in the portfolio? Yeah, another great question. That's a, that's a really big one, actually. So uh, one way that people should often look to or consider when they choose their portfolio is how much risk you can take on. And that risk is kind of tied to how old you are in a way. So if you're really young like you, you can actually afford to take a lot of risk and be a bit more aggressive. So you could be more on the red red portion of, of the color palette. But as you get a little bit older, um, you can't take on as much risk. So you may, may actually tend to shift your mix of stocks and bonds or your mix of colors more towards the cooler or more conservative uh, side of, of the color spectrum. How often should I change my portfolio? Yeah, another great question. And, you know, a lot of people probably change their portfolios more often than they need to. And that, that can actually hurt uh, your your investment returns or how much money you make uh, over the long term. So you don't really want to try, you, you don't really want to touch your portfolio too much. Uh, again, the important thing is to think about uh, where you are in your career. Uh, and as you get older, you want to slowly shift uh, your mix of stocks and bonds or your colors uh, towards something that's a bit more conservative, but you really don't want to do that too quickly. You want to do it gradually over time as you age. Thank you for your time, Ian. For Morningstar, I'm Liam Flood.